So let's go ahead and see how we can take this value, this 121 space 10 value, and see how we can convert this um, into uh, an IEEE 754 format, the kind of value um, in the method and representation that we would see if we had declared a variable such as double x. Um, how would we store this internally using 32 bits? So the first thing we're going to do is take our um, whole number and go ahead and show that as a value. And then we're going to take our fractional part and show that as a value. So for the 121, that value when stored is going to be um, as a binary unsigned value is going to be one 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 zero zero one. So go ahead and take a look at this and make sure that this value does indeed add up to 121 as an unsigned value. The next step of this is to take our um, fractional component, the 0.312744, and we're going to convert that into a series of ones and zeros. And so the way this um, algorithm works is that you're going to double that value that we see as a fractional component. So it's, you end up with a 0.625488. And take your zero here, represent it here. Um, and then let's double that and you'll end up doubling the 0.625 um, gives us 1.250476. Take our one and pull that over. This time when we double it, we're just going to, each time we do this, in fact, we're just going to use the fractional component um, when doubling. So we end up with a 0.50 one, I think that's nine, five, two, and that's a zero. Um, since the 0.25 just ends up being 0 0.5019, we take our zero and we place that over here. Double it again, and we get 1.003904. So just doubling the fractional part again, we get our one here. So if you continue that process, we are left with the fractional part. So the 121 is going to be the 1, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1. And then our, well, that's the whole number. The fractional part is the 0, 1, 0, 1. And we only needed to take this maybe to 10 bits of precision, I think is what I asked for here. So this could continue on. Normally you would stop once you end up with a zero here, but there's no exact, you know, we may not have an exact representation for the value. So that zero may not ever show up. Though so oftentimes your um, IEEE representation is an approximation of the actual value that you want it to represent. Um, so now we have, what was it, 0 0.0101, and then the rest would ultimately uh, be zeros. Turn this into scientific notation, and that scientific notation is going to look like this. So it's going to look like this. I had to switch um, to Microsoft Whiteboard because it was a little bit buggy. So what's going to happen is that you're going to take those two parts and put this together. Um, let's see if we're getting more consistent writing with less of a delay. So you're going to take your 121 and you're going to take your fractional component. There's my zero, there's my one, there's my zero, there's my one. Um, and then we're going to go ahead and put this into scientific notation. So normalize scientific notation. So this is going to go one, two, three, four, five, six. So we're looking at one point one, um, 
zero zero one zero one zero one and that's going to be times two to the six now since we're putting in IEEE we're going to have to put it we'll uh, express this uh, with a with a bias so we're pulling it up into IEEE so since we're pulling it up into IEEE add 127 so 6 plus the 127 is going to give us 133 and that 133 is a 1 0 0 0 1 0 1 and that is our exponent so again, don't forget, we're trying to do put this into IEEE, and that IEEE is going to have a sign, an exponent, and a fractional part. We have our fractional part right here, one, two, three, right? And then we also have our um, exponent, and we're going to put that into a series of, uh, of bits placed in the exponent segment. And we're going to use one bit here, eight bits here, and 23 bits to represent the values there. So what you have then, um, since this was a negative, we also know that the sign bit here is going to be a, uh, a one. So where does that leave us? It leaves us with first the sign bit, which is the one. Then it leaves us with the exponent. And our exponent is a one. And then there's one, two, three, four zeros, one, zero, one. And those are, should be the eight bits. And then we also have the fractional component. Right, we have the fractional component. And I do believe that I lost a bit, so let's bring that in there as well. So I think that completes it. I have my three ones, zero, zero, and then um, then we have zero, one, zero, and then we have our one here. So that also should have been included. So after carefully putting these down, you should see that you end up with a hex 0, 0, 0. Um, 2 and 8 is a 10, so that's an A. That's a 2. That's 15, so that's F. That's a 2. 1, 2, 4, and 8 is a 12, so that's a T. So the hex value that you get from this is um, C2, F, two, A, one, two, three.